Hi there everyone, welcome back to Infinity Drones. Today is going to be a nice quick little video on what to do with your V2 goggles or your goggles 2 if you've got one of those long cables that come from your battery but you've got one of these nice straps and you don't need that very long battery cable to get to your goggles. <laughs> So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how you can create your own little short cable. Now, as you guys can see in this end, I've already cut the cable and I've just linked it up just to test to see if it's working. So it's a pretty hack job, but when you strip the cables, you'll see that there's a red wire and there's a wire with no shielding whatsoever. So that is the two wires that go together and the other one. So all you really need to do is just either bind it and then tape it up, but I would recommend doing some solder. But the idea is, is that you check that the cable goes from the goggle all the way to where your battery is going to be with a little bit of slack so as you guys can see over here i have enough slack from my goggles to my little cable over there so the plan is is to just neaten up this little cable so i'm just going to move the goggles out the way and you're going to see the cable over here so let me just quickly undo the whole thing you guys can see i'm just going to undo it and then just unravel it on the side as well now you can unravel all you want or you can actually leave it the way it is so in this case actually what i'm going to do is i'm just going to actually leave it the way it is i'm just going to ravel it up all the way and wrap it up all the way as well because if i really think about it I can just do that and then that and then that'll be fine but if you really want to do it properly you'll put some um, heat shrink over it and do it properly so let's just do it unravel it completely there we go i'll get back to that in a bit now when, when you strip the cables the first time you're not going to have this problem so just make sure when you do cut it that you leave yourself enough little a room so you don't want to cut it too short so rather have it too long but have it convenient so you know there's nothing wrong with having it you know 10 centimeters 15 centimeters longer than it's supposed to be but the idea is, is that you have the ability to shorten it after the fact remember when you cut it too short the first time there's nothing you can do the second time right so here we go we've got our cables let me just get some heat shrink and then we can continue Okay, so you've got your wires, you've got your um, items that you want to use. So I'm just going to sneak this over. That's just about half of this. I'm going to use this to go over the entire thing when I'm done. If you want, you can go and pre-tin your wires. It's going to make things significantly easier when you want to go to the soldering section. Okay, so I've got this bit over. What I want is I want at least one of these wires also covered in heat shrink before I go over it. So let me just quickly get a nice thick piece of heat shrink. I can go over the entire thing. So this blue will work. Sneak it over there. So that'll go over the joint. But I've got, let me just check this length of my wires. So the red is significantly longer than the other one. So I'm just going to trim that off. And I'm just going to thin a little bit on this wire over here. Stick it into my flux. Here we go. Okay. So what I want is the red wire covered in blue. 
So about that much. Always cut off again if I need. Perfect. This is just for the red wire, remember? So I don't want the black wire to be into the in this one. So if I measure it, it's gonna fit in that little gap quite nicely, but I need to get it out of the way. So I'm just gonna stick it over this entire section. That's a bit close, so it might have to make it a bit shorter. Let me just see if I can get it over the other end and sneak it into the other. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make it a bit shorter. Let's just quickly see. There's some wiring on both sides, so let me make this halfway. Yeah, just a little bit shorter. Let's just make it that much shorter. Okay, so if I stick it over. That's out the way, I can solder that little section. I've already pre tinned the section, so get some grip. I don't need a lot of solder to be on it, so. Should have enough just on the tip. Slide that bit over, so just the red sticks out the sides. Very useful little tool if you guys ever needed one. Okay, so that bit is done. So now we're just going to go over to our last remaining little leads and we are going to solder them up. So go in there, goes in there, nice and easy, nice pre tin already on it. So it should go nice and easy. And this one, I don't really care. They can go and have a nice little overlap because they're going to be too long anyway. So, you know, you can be a bit neater if you wanted to, but for my purposes this is more than sufficient that i need i'm going to have a nice little piece of heat shrink that goes over the entire thing again so it's definitely worth it there we go just as simple as that as you guys can see a nice good layer that goes over that and then you can just sneak everything into your line that you've got here. Let me just see, did I just go too short? Did I really just go too short? I did. Can you believe it? But that should be good enough for it. Can't believe it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, can't believe it. it was a little bit too, too short with this one. I can't believe it. Anyway, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sneak it in here. And I'm going to squeeze it in so it will fit. So you can make it work. And the way that you're going to do it, is you're going to sneak it in like that. That side's going to get ripped. I'm just going to do the same with the other side. Oh, it's still hot that side. Just give me a second. Can't believe it. See, when you measure these things, just do it right the first time. Measure twice, cut once, right? 
any case. This is still just a bit bunched up on the inside, but it's still longer than what it was before. So, there we go. It's got it. And now, let's do the last little final bit. As you guys can see, it could have been done better, but this is not bad. This is not bad at all. So, now, just let it cool off a little bit. Get the goggles. Make some space over here. And as you can see, my wire has got now a nice supportive structure over there and it goes straight into my goggles and if I put it on my head, there's still enough slack to be able to not put too much tension on my plug over here. So it's important that you guys have enough length over there. If you guys are wondering how long this connector is that I've just made, now I would have wanted to make this slightly longer, but I do think this is a good a good length to be in. So if you wanted to, you can just check. Just get rid of that. So the entire length of the cable, I'm not going to measure the connectors because that's silly. So you got your, I've got it at just under nine centimeters. So I would probably say you should be making it at least 10 centimeters, maybe 11, but I think 10, it would be sufficient. Any case, there we've got a nice little cable as you guys can see. And uh, hope you guys find this video useful. If you like what I'm doing, Please consider to click the like button, subscribe button, make put a comment below. Yes, I know I could have made this better. I can always strip it over and just redo it again, but hey, this is not too bad.